In 1977, Linda de Kroek's trachea was crushed in a car accident. More than 30 years later, she got a new trachea, this one grown from the tissue in her own arm. Her quality of life has improved significantly, but it was a long road getting there. For years she was in pain, had trouble breathing, and lost all sense of smell. That's when she contacted Dr. Pierre Delaire, a surgeon at Leuven University Hospital in Belgium, and begged him for help. The ear, nose and throat specialist led a team of doctors who implanted a donor trachea into de Crook's forearm. First they wrapped de Crook's tissue around the organ, then they implanted the windpipe into her arm, where they connected it to a large artery to get her blood flowing through it. Eight months later, there was enough of de Crook's own tissue in the trachea to transplant it to her throat. Delaire says the main challenge was to find a way to get enough blood to the organ, one of the biggest in the human body. The blood vessels of the trachea are so small that even uh, microvascular um, techniques cannot re-establish the blood supply of the trachea. So we had to re-establish the blood supply to the trachea and uh, this is more in the field of plastic and reconstructive surgery and uh, we brought this uh, reconstructive uh, field together with the uh, head and neck surgery field. Delair and his team had performed similar procedures on a smaller scale before, mainly for cancer patients. De Crook was the first patient to receive a full trachea transplant. A second patient has since had a similar transplant, while a third is waiting for a donor trachea. The goal now is to cut down the length of time it takes to grow the windpipe in the patient's arm. With her recovery on track, De Crook can now enjoy the simple things in life, like gardening or taking a stroll outside. While she can't do anything too strenuous yet, De Crook says taking it easy is a small price to pay for her new lease on life. For Reuters.com, I'm Julie Gordon.